Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Lee and welcome to another exclusive artist interview here at Sideshow Con. And today I am chatting with the one, the only, the most adorable, Miss Mindy Artist and Designer. Hi, welcome. <laughs> hey, it's so nice to see you, Wendy. How are you? I am doing fantastic, even better now that I'm talking to you. I am already a big fan of your work um, and I would love to just jump, jump into uh, our first question here. When did you know that you wanted to become an artist? Oh, Lord. That was ever since I was a little kid. I was born into a family of artists. So my grandmother, Mary, worked at Disney. She worked on Snow White. She worked on Pinocchio, uh, some of her cells. And so I knew at a very young age that I wanted to be an ink and painter. But then the computer came in, so I had to learn everything else. <laughs> but wow. I learned ink and painting, at least. <laughs> So yeah, That's very young age. Mm -hmm. Very amazing. So your grandmother worked at Disney on Snow White, on Pinocchio. You're essentially a part of a legacy. Yeah, definitely. And she was just published in a book about, um, they actually came out with names of all the women that worked in uh, Disney animation back in the day. So they've all been revealed. Uh, and uh, she was a part of that. And so I went in her honor. It was really awesome. It was very awesome. Go grandma. Yes. Oh, that's so that's <laughs> Go grandma in the sky. She's Go gone. grandma. But. Team grandma. <laughs> um, obviously, Disney then has a huge influence on uh, your, throughout your life, throughout your work, as we can see. Has it always been Disney pieces as well? Um, oh, I was really into anime. I loved Robotech, uh, Macross, Go Lion, all of that when I was, when I was little. I love uh, Max Fleischer's Betty Boop. So, Disney came in later. I honestly didn't have cable. Like we, <laughs> we didn't have much money, so we couldn't like get cable. So I watched, you know, whatever I could, whatever videos I could get. Disney came in later. Yeah, so. that is so amazing. So different inspirations. Surprise, surprise. Pulled, yeah, from from anime, which mm -hmm. I absolutely love. So uh, That's I why love... my stuff looks so crazy. <laughs> no, no, I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, I have to know, how do you keep your art fresh? Oh, my. Um, trying different materials. Right now, stay there. I'm going to, today, this is me after. I'll be using Warbler and this heat gun. So <laughs> this is stuff that cosplayers use. Yes. And um, yeah, so that's how I keep nimble, how I keep different and um my husband also was an imagineer at disney and he worked on tumbleweed and all sorts of different things and so he always brought different kinds of mediums home and i'd want to try it and so he, he, he gave me little tips about it and so i just keep growing and i love i love new media that's what keeps me fresh that's absolutely amazing and i've always been fascinated with war blood because that's something that you can heat up correct and then kind oh of it's so cool that's, oh my God, that's how I made my, that was a Comic-Con costume back there <gasps> of a Skeksy. <laughs> I'm a not Skeksy. a lot of coffee. I'm ah. like, I'll wear it for you at the end if you want. <laughs> oh my God. You actually that, won Best in Show. Stop. You would have to with a costume like that. That is absolutely amazing. And while we're on the topic of mediums, is there any other mediums you haven't worked with and something that you potentially would be interested in? Um, I haven't worked with fiberglass really, but it's kind of toxic. So I get a little worried about that, but I want to do some things that are bigger. Um, I want to go really small and really big, but I need help to do it. So I'm trying to figure out funding and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. I've got some big, big and really tiny ideas. <laughs> uh, well, all ideas are, are great. And I honestly, I, I absolutely love um, all of your work and I've been following your work for a long time and one of the things that I love about your work is that it's recognizable I can walk into any store any gallery and if your work is being showcased I can without even looking at the tags I can say that's Miss Mindy um, uh -huh. can you tell us what was your very first paid gig as an artist you're gonna laugh <laughs> I'm laughing already thinking about it but it was a really good burrito and I got paid in a burrito and and it was for a very small construction company and they needed like this guy with these tools and they, they were draped all over his body like like old western guy and that was my first job and I got this burrito from Baja Fresh 
And I think I ate it over three days because I didn't have much money at the time. So I like divided it like, oh, I'm going to eat this for a while. So that was a good job. You like elongated your <laughs> celebration of your very first egg. You're just kind of like, I can eat this on one setting, but no, I'm going to drag it. I would have done the same. Burritos are really filling. And I think the next question that everybody has, has on their mind is what kind of a burrito was it? Oh, oh goodness. I think it was, I think it was one of their chicken ones back in the day. That oh. was before I became more, more veggie nowadays, but, um, but yeah, it was really good. Oh the God, onion sounds outside, you know. Delicious. I am on an empty stomach, so probably wasn't a good So idea. am I. <laughs> That's why I'm a little twitchy. Sorry, everyone. I've only had coffee. Team coffee, coffee only, no food. <laughs> Definitely. Um, talking about your pieces, which piece of yours in particular uh, would you say proved to be the greatest challenge and why? Um, one of the greatest challenges, and I luckily was able to do this one with my husband. We tag teamed it for Disney. It okay. was for D23, and it was, um, it sounds cheesy, but it was our showstopper. And we, we were just like, let's do something amazing. We were able to, I was already showing in the parks, and then um, we got my husband in as uh, Ahab. That was his Disney name because he couldn't um, have his real name out there. And uh, so it was me and me and Ahab Shipyard doing this chess set that uh, it, it was about this big. <clears throat> and if you go to MissMindy.com, I actually have a video of it up there right now. That's and it shows how it was made. And so my husband did the base of the board and then I did the pieces. And it was like the hardest thing I've ever done. But it was the most rewarding too. But oh my God, I remember... I felt like for about a month, I didn't know what day it was. <laughs> so it was very challenging, but I'm so glad I did it because I wouldn't be doing any of this if I didn't. Oh, so, I'm, I'm love so you, glad. Rick. Oh, I love you, Ab. The cutest ever. How did yeah, it, how does awesome. it feel to kind of, when you, you know, imagine a piece from, from, and it also, if you wouldn't mind, take us through your process of design. You, you get an idea in your head and you put, what do you do? Do you put pen to paper first or do you kind of talk to your husband to plan it out? What is it like for you? Yeah, usually it's a um, pen to paper. That one, it was really cool. His idea was that he wanted it to be life-size. Ahab always goes big. <laughs> like he goes, my husband <laughs> goes gigantic. And I remember Disney was like, um, it's got to fit like on a table. And we went, okay. So we went, we went tiny. And um, so it usually starts, um, sometimes when Rick and I are talking, we get really excited, but we don't do too many projects together like that. There's only been three, I think. Um, so when it's just me by myself, it's usually <clears throat> coffee shop or bar. <laughs> and um, I go there and I'll just draw on a napkin or, or whatever, or look in my um, sketchbook from days of old and see you know, what is grabbing me that week? What, what do I have passion for that week? Uh, do I want to do it in a painting or a sculpture? Because I do both. So it's, I, there's a constant battle in my little Irish head about uh, what to create next. It's interesting yeah. here. <laughs> that's an interesting elf amazing. world in my mind. No, I think that's absolutely it's a little amazing. frightening. And I think that showcases just how creative you are with all of your de design and all of your art. And I kind of want to circle back to some of your Disney pieces. Um, how do you decide, do you want to focus on princesses or the villains? Should I, or should I say the heroines and the villains? Or is it just kind of like you love them all, so you just kind of treat them all with equal love? I think the villains are my favorite just because the sheer amount of um, all the detail. And I mean, you know, the personalities are amazing. So I wanted to, I'm wearing this poofy sleeve thing for them today. And um and uh, the princesses, I just wanted to make them kind of be their own little ladies. Originally, I wanted them to be daredevils, but I couldn't really go that far. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to shoot them out of cannons and have them be. <laughs> but, you know, that's another project. Um, but uh, so I love them. I love them both. But I do lean towards the villains. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. A woman after my own heart. I have I have this just like love for for the villains, their whole aesthetic and everything. Uh, do you have a favorite? Top three villains that you can name, Disney villains. Oh, man. Uh, Queen of Hearts. And I 
love doing my own play on her with the the new vinyl. <clears throat> yeah. And um, I love Ozzy. Oh, he is just, I love him. He's, he's the bomb. I love him. Yeah. And honestly, anything to do with the Snow White because of grandma. So evil queen, vintage villain woman. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I love it. Fantastic answer. And speaking of Snow White, I actually have my purchased my very mm-hmm. own Miss Mindy vinyl right here. Uh, and, and I, and Aww, I, I like, thanks, Mindy. This, you're welcome. Uh, no, thank you for creating this so I can have it in my home. <laughs> Literally the second I saw this, I immediately was like, I absolutely need this on my shelf ASAP. And so when I took this out of the box, I started obviously like kind of do the 360. You see little details all around. Do you ever hide Easter eggs in your pieces? Oh my goodness. The only place I have on these ones are in their eyes. I've noticed that like, I like putting little highlights and I think that's the anime part of me that just loved the big, beautiful eyes. So, um, but I think just sass in general is my Easter egg eggs because they're all pretty <laughs> they're all pretty sassy little little broads you know I mean yeah. I, I'm a tough lady I'm a tough Irish lady and um I love putting that into my characters so um there's always a little bit of sass even if they're even if it's a princess yeah. uh, I was even told to tone it down a little bit because I tend to get really really sassy in my work like my yeah. my pieces get <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah, absolutely, really, really I absolutely think these pieces, each one's so different and you can see, like, I'll just hold up Snow White next to Rapunzel here, but each piece really do have their own personality and each one shine through. Even if you say, for some reason, don't know, like a princess's backstory, you haven't seen their movie, you can really see it in each piece. And I also love that you, you gave them little company pets. Like this is literally the cute, this was the big selling point for me right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. I love, I have a little pet radio. He's really exhausted and, and he's sleeping in the back right now. But um, so that was my idea, especially with Belle and Beast, because mm-hmm. um, Beast is like, you know, a little, a little pet the way yeah. I did it. And um, so I left him having a little sidekick. And I thought it was hilarious to take Beast from here and make him like this big. Uh, I love miniatures. So that's where the idea came from. I'm glad you like it, oh. Wendy. I appreciate I- it. I, I love it. I did a whole guessing game with Jeff Jeff May that that's on the Sideshow uh, YouTube channel <laughs> where I had him pair up their uh, pets with their coexisting characters and he aced yeah. it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, I think I saw that. Oh, yay! Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching you. Me and my husband love you. Oh you're, my gosh. You're, you're one of our favorites. Oh, yeah. I was hoping so to get much. interviewed by you. I really, really dig um, just, I don't know, the way you talk about the art and you know, I put a lot of heart into it and I, it's really nice to have someone that sees that. And so thank you. Thank you, you for my little, little heart. Made my day. I don't even need breakfast. I don't need coffee. I, and my, <laughs> my, my, my day is complete. Thank you so much for that. I absolutely am just genuinely just such a huge fan of your work. And, um, one of my final questions to you is what yeah. advice would mm-hmm. you give to aspiring artists? Oh, goodness. Um, just seriously, don't give up. Do not give up. Um, art, art world can be a wild and woolly place. Um, there's so many different directions, which is awesome. I was in animation and then it switched to, um, I was doing boarding, character design, and then I knew I really needed to be out doing my own work. And um, so no matter what direction you go, even if it feels a little uncomfortable, be like, oh, find the right wave for you so that you don't just go, oh, I'm gonna give up, I'm not making money at it or whatever. You, you, you just gotta keep going. It sounds cheesy and cliche, but it, it's the way to go. Just believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. What a, <laughs> believe in yourself, <laughs> believe in yourself. What a fantastic totally. message, what a positive message for everyone, whether they are aspiring to be an artist or not. I think that's a great message to carry forward. Thank you so much for a delightful conversation, Ms. Mindy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, you're so welcome. It was, it was lovely talking with you, Wendy. Thanks a lot. And it's been so great to chat with you uh, despite not having the best connection. And I want to thank all of you for watching at home. Stay tuned for more content from SciShow Con. And don't forget to let your geek side show.